Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Clear Your Path to New Beginnings with me, that's right, your host, Tori Sachs. This episode, I think I've probably talked to a lot of friends and family about this episode, so this is one of the ones where um, I always say I'm excited, but like, I'm just, it's just so timely because we're about to step into or depending when you're watching this maybe you're already in the spring season or if you're in the southern hemisphere you know come back to this when we uh when we move into fall here in the north and then in spring in the southern hemisphere but anyway so this episode so i already put out an episode all about how to prepare yourself for spring but Because I facilitate healing using crystals, and I'm also just crystal obsessed. I mean, can you see how many crystals I'm wearing right now? Um, And I have more that you can't even see. But anyways, and like there's more behind me. But anyways, so because I love crystals so much, and when I was going through crystal healing training, I noticed that they're actually, like I asked them, hey, what are the ones to help us move through certain seasons? Because it just makes sense. Like there's so much that we can do, whether it's essential oils, candle magic, um, color therapy. I'm actually, we're working on some of that today too. So there's so much that we could do. And when I was getting ready for this episode, I remember like when I was going through training and they told me that there weren't like, specifically ones that people normally use for spring. That's when for me, because I want to help all you guys and I'm not here to like hoard information. I'm here to share and help others. It was like, okay, I'm going to take it upon myself and do research and see what crystals will actually help us through the spring season. So that is what today's episode is all about. This is actually part two, part one. I already did and it was all about crystals of the green ray and today is more on that yellowy maybe a little bit of orange ray i have some that might be touching on red but not necessarily so this is i'm calling it more of the yellow ray and why that is is because i'm wearing a little bit of yellow i don't have a ton these are um pants that my friends made and they're completely that my friend made and they're completely awesome but I wanted to bring that in because yellow is one of the colors for spring. So when we think about spring, and again, check out that episode. I'm going way deeper in that one. But when we talk about spring, we're talking about colors that embody in areas of the body and and always like a very holistic approach. And so green and yellow are those colors. So that is why this episode is all about crystals of that yellow ray. So before I get started, I always want to remind you guys that I am a Reiki practitioner. I also facilitate and do crystal healing. So I facilitate healings using crystals and sound as well. And I also import extra virgin olive oil from this amazing place called Extremadura, Spain. So if you want to learn more about me, go to my website, sign up for my newsletter, get all the information. If not, feel free to reach out to me. I want to make the experience as easy and pleasurable and just get you what you need. So my website is www.torysax.com. I always say, if you know my name and how to spell it, you can find me. So let's get back to today. So today I'm gonna take you through the, the crystals of the yellow ray. And I'm really excited about this. This was actually, there were a lot of new information that I learned while I was doing this research. And I've actually started incorporating it not only in my practice, but also for my clients. And the amazing thing is, is we're about, we're transitioning right now um, into this time of spring here in the Northern Hemisphere. So it's actually like the perfect time. And it'll be amazing to see how changes in my family, friends, my clients and myself through this information that now I have and I can give to you guys. So before we go and get into the nitty gritty of each of the different crystals, I picked out like five or six crystals that really in my mind resonate the ideas and principles of spring. I'm just going to give you like really easy tidbits on what I was looking for, 
before we jump in. Again, if you want like the down and dirty, all the like really deep information, check out the video about preparing for the spring season. That's going to give you a much more holistic view and approach to things. But this is specifically geared towards crystals. Really exciting. Um, and also, if you don't know how to work with crystals, that's okay. I have other videos that teach you how to invoke crystalline energy and how to work with them. And honestly, just like go with what you're intuitively led and what resonates with you. That's honestly the best way to work with crystals. Okay, so getting back to spring. So the spring season is all about hope. Um, it's this time of rebirth and regrowth. I mean, if we look at winter where we're coming out of and now we're transitioning into spring, it's all about green and grass and blooms and this, uh, this like fertile energy. I mean, we went from probably the most barren time of the year returning to the earth to now buds are blooming, buds are coming up. We're seeing color again, um, vibrancy, life, freshness. So um, this is also the time of youth, that time of year. So the things that you want to move away from is judgment and criticism and then the organ system the chinese organ system that is this time of year of spring is the wood element and that correlates to the liver and the gallbladder so that's why a lot of the crystals that i'll be focusing on and talking about today helps with the liver system and helps with inflammation calming that area of the body and that system that um, the liver actually does about 300 different tasks in the body. So it's really something that you want to make sure that you are taking care of and you're harnessing and you're not overdoing it. So um, that is some of the areas of this time of year. It also in Ayurveda correlates to the kapha season um, and kapha, which is made of earth and water. So we might, we're coming out of this time of being really heavy and lethargic, and now we're moving into a more buoyant and want to be lighter. So those are also crystals that I wanted to look at. Um, kapha also rules the mucous membranes, and um, you're, we're known for getting more seasonal allergies and sinus issues. So when we look at the crystals that I pulled and I focused on for this season, really had to do with seasonal allergies. Um, and how to help us move away from like really intense heavy allergies and moving towards you know getting rid of that and really focusing on moving through some of those feelings not only like what's coming up with the emotional body but also in the physical body and then this is also the time of year where we're moving away from some people i know i get affected by this too um sad which is seasonal affective disorder it has to do with like having the blues, gray skies, and not seeing the sun. So when we talk about spring and coming back to this time of year, moving away from winter, we're also talking about this reawakening, this emergence of light, and this coming back into bringing about the yang or the masculine and sunlight into our lives because we went from winter, which is the most yin time of year, and now we're going into spring which is now having more yang coming back into our life, that masculine energy, sunlight. So that's also what is really that yellow ray is um, a lot of times will bring more light back into your life when we talk about crystals. So those are just kind of like broad themes of what I was looking for when I was doing my research and when I found the different crystals that I really wanted to focus on and um, talk to you guys about so that's the basis for this okay. video so the first crystal i want to talk about and honestly i probably should get more of these this is amber um that is amber and i am i really never worked with this crystal before just to be honest and then i did research and it was like when i was reading and learning about this crystal i was thinking wow this is one of the crystals I have to talk about for spring. And that is because this like, I mean, this helps with allergies, with sinuses. So again, talking about all those things that I just told you about, this is perfect for this time of year. It also has to do with 
bringing into life. I mean, that was one of the things I read when researching. I mean, that could just not be any more perfect. So this also has to do with the liver, with renewal, that time of renewal and feelings of renewal, allergies. Um, this helps with mucus buildup in the body. I mean, we just talked about the coffee season. So it's like, yes, this is the crystal you want to use for all of those things. This is also a purifier. And that's also one of the things that the liver does. So this is a purifier. This manifests prosperity. This activates the life force and it warms up our interior climate. Uh, this helps with SAG, seasonal affective disorder. Again, this is from the yellow ray. And uh, so it's bringing more light back into our lives and that sunlight and just that reawakening of spirit and energy. This also, the really cool thing about this is that this crystal, I don't know if you can, can see, um, I might take some pictures, but this crystal also has little pieces of wood in it. And what is this time of year in Chinese medicine? The wood element. So literally you're getting return of earth when you work with amber. A really great crystal to incorporate if any of these things were areas that you wanna focus on during the spring season, I highly recommend this crystal. For you. Bumblebee Jasper, look at the beautiful contrast and the differences. So the reason why, one of the reasons why they call this bumblebee jasper is because you can see yellow, but you can also see some black in here. So what we're looking at is very similar to if you looked at a bumblebee. So this is why they call it bumblebee jasper. And like jasper, a lot of times I'll use jasper if there's trauma in the body that needs to be released. The cool thing about this, when we bring in that yellow ray, we're talking about the solar plexus and we're talking about, you know, our will and our vitality and our life force, which is what we want to bring back in after moving away from winter and moving into spring. This is a great one to use to help with the solar plex chakra. And those are just some of the areas that I just talked about for the solar plexus. This also brings inspiration and manifestation. And that is also what the springtime is all about. We're planting seeds so that these seeds can start growing as you tend to them and nurture them through this time of year. And it's all about the springtime is all about potential. So that is what Bumblebee Jasper helps you through is like, what is the potential? What are areas that you want to manifest and create? It, it also not only has to do with that solar plexus chakra I talked about, but the sacral. And so the sacral has to do with creativity and sexuality and fertility, and not just fertility when we're talking out like creation between, you know, a creation by, by bringing new life, but also it could be creation in your home, in your businesses, in all areas of your life. So not just um, bringing a baby or, or a child into the world in whatever way that manif would manifest for you. So talking about all this fertility and this, I mean, again, when we move into spring, we're seeing a lot more baby lambs. That's what I think about, but babies, um, so baby animals. And so that's what this time of fertility is all about. And Bumblebee Jasper will help you bring more creative inspiration into your life. It is a stone that helps people overcome obstacles and also see the potential. And, and literally it's called like golden opportunities. So when I read that, I was like, okay, we have to include this for spring, all about golden opportunities coming into our lives and how we can work with them. This is also another crystal to help with the liver. It also helps with kidneys too, but specifically the liver. And that's what we wanted to focus on with spring is working through the liver organ system, that liver organ, and how we can really support that. This also, because it has to do with the solar plex chakra, this also helps align you with your gut feeling. You with courage, um, manifesting more courage in your life, and also having more endurance. We're going from a time where we needed a lot of rest to now we're ready to be a little bit more active 
in and bring that into our lives. So this is Bumblebee Jasper. Another, if this like, we're like, wow, I love bumblebees or I just love the sentiment. This might be one that you want to start working with. So I want to talk about is citrine. And this is honestly one of my favorite crystals to work with. I actually wear this every day. Um, like personally, it's one that I use. I use it a lot when I'm doing grids and also when I'm doing a crystal and facilitating a crystal healing. This is such a great crystal. So there's, I'm giving you two different options to look at. This is citrine like that. But then I also have it in this amazing organite. And I like to use it a lot um, on the solar plexus around that navel chakra when I'm doing healings. Um, this is great. I love this because it's great to help with like EMS and bring more vitality train in a lot of different ways. But I use it, I use the train to help bring in more abundance, more vitality, more freshness into the physical body a lot. It's bringing that vitality. Um, if we think about the lower chakras, a lot of times those align with more of like physical body um, as well. So this is one that I love to use. I use it all the time um, and I love working with it. So specifically, if you're looking for help with detoxification, bringing more of that sunlight into your life, more of that vitality back into all the bodies, but especially the physical body. This is great to use if you need more light in your auric field, bringing that buoyancy, that vibrancy back into the, to the auric field, not just um, the physical body. It is one where it helps bring small joys and you appreciating joy back into your life, those small joys back into your life. So this is a great one for that, for possibly um, conception of ideas, conception of physical things. And also, like I said, new a great thing that I learned about from this, like I've already, again, I work with it a lot. I program it a lot, but uh, use it to help lighten our dark thoughts. So again, we're coming from the darkest time of year to help bring that light back in, especially it being part of the yellow ray. Okay. The next crystal we're going to talk about is Jasper and Jasper comes in many forms, but I typically work with red Jasper and it was the one that was calling to me the most. So even though it's not technically of the yellow ray, I threw it in here because I was thinking, you know what? It's a warm, it's a warm color on the color wheel. And it, um, it has to do with a lot of different things that we were talking about for spring. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to include it. So why you want to work with Jasper. It helps with the liver. It helps with digestion. Again, like digestion around that solar plexus area is where, um, where the digestive tract is, is like where the solar plexus is and where we are trying to process things and think about things. Um, again, those gut feelings, it helps with reproduction. And a lot of times it was said that people would use Jasper to assist um, pregnancies and delivery of when people were pregnant to help with that. And so again, this time of spring, this fertility that we're looking not only physically, but also with ideas and conception of ideas, this is a great crystal. So Jasper with. is also seen as physically grounding. And it also has to do it's the connotation with that, this one too, is that it also is in relation to Sandalphon, with the Archangel Sandalphon, which she hangs out um, on very close to the earth, like deep, deep, deep depths of the earth. And this is like coming back and seeing stuff from, you know, when we plant the seeds, it start coming back up. So it's literally like all of Mother Earth coming up and all of this amazingness from Archangel Sandalphon coming up with using and working with this crystal in this time of year. So that's Jasper, but I'm going to show you the two that I have that are actually red Jasper. So technically Jasper is on the yellow ray, but because I have red, it could also be looked at as being on the red ray. The two Jaspers I like working with, and again, I love working with these to help remove and release trauma um, that's held in the body, especially um, like I associate it a lot and we'll put it, you know, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, 
So those first three and then the root chakra, like having to do with more of the physical body and and things that we may be holding in the physical body. So with red jasper, these, these crystals that I have that I work with, these are all about bringing more endurance, more stamina. Again, we're talking about like these physical aspects and properties that a lot of time are associated with more of the yellow ray of the solar plexus. So that's what you would want to use for these crystals. This also helps you with um, increasing the life force, the life force energy, the qi. Um, what they talk about in, in Chinese medicine is the qi or the prana um, with Ayurveda. So bringing that more in, more buoyancy, more, more just like intention and um, more vibrancy behind that than maybe what we had in winter with awakening of energy. And again, we're coming into this time of reawakening. This also will help you have more of a connection with Mother Earth. Like I said, this we're talking about red jasper right now, but jasper in general has to do with sandal fawn and Mother Earth. But with red jasper, it also has that connection to Earth energy and coming back to Earth and grounding yourself and earth and during this wood element time and or if you're looking at ayurveda this time of earth and water the next crystal i want to tell you guys about is orange calcite calcite is a great crystal to work with and there are so many different variations of calcite i mean i have a green one um like almost i think there's almost every color is with calcite but this is orange and specifically specifically i picked this one because of the properties but also i mean we're dabbling into it's a very i mean this almost looks yellow it's a yellowy orange so um again it's it's a little bit farther off on off of the yellow ray but it fits in in my opinion it fits in with with the cal with the category so this one is to help bring courage and confidence and playfulness back into your life. I mean, what a great crystal to work with, this time of play, this time of youth and joy in the spring season. This also helps with innovation and ideas. This helps bring more energy where you need it for activities. And so again, just a reawakening of energies into the physical this body. encourages warmth, so more light coming back in um, it also helps with circulation. It helps with metabolism, especially like this time of year when we're focusing on speeding up our metabolism or maybe just reawakening the metabolism after being in winter and now moving into spring. Also, um, a lot of times you'll use this crystal to bring sunlight back into the dark corners of your life. So that was one thing I read. So I was like, oh my gosh, that is the embodiment of this time of year it also helps to shake off the blues so with that seasonal affective disorder or sad it literally shakes off the blues and brings more light back into your life it also is all about creativity the arts it has to do with the solar plexus the navel in crystal healing so really that yellow ray even though this is slightly orange um honestly i feel like um, all the things I've been telling you about, because it also has to do with sexuality and, and helping um, move through shame, that emotion. I work on that almost on a daily basis. Um, stuff that I've had to work through in my childhood and, and working on the inner child is that I almost feel like if we look at that flow from the sacral or the second chakra to then the navel and solar plexus area, um, so this is a great crystal if you want to put on that, that kind of line moving from the second to the third chakra, because again, like if we look at this color of this as well, it is not really like a really strong orange or a really strong yellow. It's like the two came together and had a perfect marriage, which all the things I've been talking about with this crystal have to do with that. If you're wanting to increase your business and creativity and flow with your business. This is also a great crystal to work with. This helps with balance, not only in the digestive area and the digestive tract, but also with your hormones. Um, and this is also like right now, I feel like we're really being called to work with calcite because there's so much abundance 
of this crystal and the different colors that that they have in the crystal so with the variety so this one would be easy to have it would be really easy to find and it wouldn't be something that would be super expensive for you to work with there are other ones where they're rarer and it's you have to if you're really i mean if it really resonates with you and you're willing to um put the monetary value behind it but this one i don't think it wouldn't it wouldn't cost you it would be a good investment for this time of year and for you to work with. I mean, it really covers so um, much, you know, it has that solar energy again, that young masculine energy. So really a great crystal to incorporate in your practice and in your use during this time of year. I mean, this is a little guy, but he is orange ionite. You can, you can see the difference. We get more of the orange flare from him. And like when we look at the orange calcite, it wasn't as intense with the orange, but this is a lot deeper, if you can see that, a lot deeper with um, this crystal than with the other one. So this has to do with the liver. Again, talking about the liver and all that it does for us with allergies. It also has to do with creativity and fertility, sexuality, that um, sacral chakra and that sexual energy that comes out of that area of the this body. Also the stone of creativity and creation during this time of year, bringing more creative thought and having more creativity with this time of year and wanting to um, share that with others. Really a great, again, it's not exactly a yellow ray, but it was a good one to include for the video and to help you in the spring season. And as you could tell, a little really does go a long way when you're invoking crystalline energy even though this guy is small he is mighty finally we have tiger's eye this is the last crystal we are going to talk about on the yellow ring a great crystal i love working with this guy with with tiger's eye it's just there's so much good passion and creativity and vitality to help you with when working with tiger's so, eye. So tiger's eye is also associated with the liver and helping the liver out, just helping balance the liver. It also helps with reproduction or reproductive organ. It is known as the stone of good fortune. So um, I'll be putting out another video to help you what, what ones you wanna work with, but this is a great stone to work with to bring more abundance, um, fortune, manifestation, prosperity Helps to rebalance the body on all levels. So just this is a great balancing stone. If you're like, hey, I don't know which one to use, this will help you balance. It also is of that solar ray and the bringing in solar energy back into our lives and that young energy from for spring with digestion and fertility. It will help give you mental clarity and help you move into physical action. So this time of year when we went from winter, which we didn't really want, we weren't ready to take action. It's not like the time when we should be doing tons of things, that's summer. Um, so if we look at nature, it's more of a time of rest. And now when we're starting to be ready to move and groove and take more action, this is a stone to help you with that. So it's of the frequency of creation. So that's great for helping new possibilities, new ideas, new, um, this time of spring with new. It also is a blood fortifier and helps cleanse and clear what does not serve you. Like we talked about this area of the liver and digestion. So a great stone to help you find common ground with others. And if you're needing to have a difficult talk with someone, you're not sure how to go about it, or you need to negotiate some things that might be a little bit more difficult for you, then this is a great stone. So with use. that, I will close. I think this video went a little bit longer than I intended. My apologies. I just wanted to make sure that you fully knew what do you want to, which stone you want to work with and what they have to do and how it could help you during this spring time of so year. recap, I talked about amber. I talked about citrine. We had bumblebee jasper. We had regular jasper. We had red jasper. We had tiger's eye, orange calcite, and orange kainite. I think I got all of those. So actually it was probably like we talked about about eight or so crystals. So, um, and this was just of the yellow ray. 
So again, there's that whole other video on the green ray. If that is something, um, go check that out. You know, combine one and one or work with what resonates with you. But you have so many options. There's so many ways to help you move away from this time of winter that we are ending and coming to a close and moving into this really fun, amazing time of year with spring. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to hear which crystal you end up working with and using in this spring time, in this time of abundance, creation, manifestation, and youth and joy. So just to remind you in case you forgot, I am Tori Sachs. I am a Reiki practitioner. I also am a crystal healer. I facilitate healing using crystals and sound. And I also import extra virgin olive oil from Extremadura, Spain. Um, and this olive oil is really, it's really amazing. It's uh, for, from the first cold press. And it's also something that you can use to help support you with the liver. It's something we talked about a lot, the liver organ system of spring. So it's a really um, also if you don't want to work with crystals, but you also want to ingest something and help with food and your body, that's something else that you can do. So with that, um, go check out my website. If you're curious, if you want to book a session, I would love to help you move through um, whatever you are working with. Maybe it's transitioning from winter to spring or maybe something in between. Go check out my website. It's www.torysax.com. That's T-O-R-Y-S-A-K-S. Dot com. And I hope you have an amazing spring season filled with so much green and yellow, just all the things. I'm so excited. Thank you.